Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Markets overnight still a little bit higher, but off session highs. Right now, uh, we've got May beans up three cents um, around 1474. The high was 1487. We've got the May corn at 610 up um, three to five cents, but the um, high was 614. And uh, wheat, wheat is up uh, about three to four cents and around 666 in the May. As far as news overnight, um, there was some cold temperatures, maybe 23 to 23, 24 degrees in parts of Oklahoma. So there may be some bushels lost there. We'll have to see if early worries about 35 to 60 million bushels of hard red wheat loss because of this cold event is realized doubt if there's any problems in soft red or in a wheat areas. Um, as far as South America is concerned, Brazil is still dry, Argentina wet. Uh, we also note that um, the um, conditions in Russia are also wetter than normal and that Western Europe is dry. Forecast down the road uh, continues to be mostly dry in the Canadian prairies and North Dakota, although there could be a couple of shots of light showers over the next two weeks. And uh, six to 10 day calls for warm and dry conditions in the Southwest and, and maybe uh, normal to uh, rains in the Eastern Midwest. As far as other news is concerned, um, there is talk that China came out with new guidance in their feed rations to lower the amount of corn and soybean meal in the ration. Uh, there was talk that China may have also bought a few cargoes of Brazil beans. Down in uh, South America, the Brazil uh, has loaded 10 million tons of beans for April with 12 million tons in the lineup. July November, November bean spread has moved up to a buck 60 July over Nov. And it's interesting to see if uh, November kind of catches up a little bit in trying to buy some acres and suggesting that the Nov is undervalued. U.S. cash corn, soybean, uh, and soybean oil basis remain strong. Uh, we've seen a seven cent gain in uh, oil basis uh, along with the higher futures in just a week. Asian markets are all higher. Uh, we did note that there is uh, penciling done every day about U.S. beans coming in from Brazil. It doesn't work yet. But soybean oil coming into the uh, Gulf from Brazil is getting close. We noted that uh, the Montif wheat futures at six wheat highs. And then that most of that is because of concern about global weather. The Russian farmer is, is not selling wheat. Uh, his harvest low last year was around $160, and by fall it rallied to uh, $300. We do note that the May open interest continues to drop, especially in corn, but most of that seems to be rolling into the July contract. Outside market stocks are lower, dollar um, a little bit higher, and crude, um, both dollar and crude is near support. So uh, all in all, let's look for a choppy trade today. Um, usually we're seeing a little bit of a profit taking in front of our export sales number, but the tightening U.S. balance sheets, concerned about whether uh, continues to offer support uh, in, the, in the markets, uh, suggesting uh, higher objectives uh, in prices. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM Radio Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day, and remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.